Welcome to RentFlow 101 Part 3. In this video, we're going to be customizing your buy box, we're going to be adding interactions to buttons, and we're going to be publishing your very first RepLow page. By the end of this, you should be able to drive traffic to the page that we build together and start generating more sales. So let's get started. Before we get to the product section, let's actually handle this bottom section. I actually wanna change a lot of these accent colors to red. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with this button, click on the button, design, and then you can see this background. And we're gonna click on this. And I'm actually just gonna pull the little design tab here. We're gonna pull this over here to red. And so this, I'm gonna copy this for now. And that is going to be my button color. Fantastic. I can also change the background of things like this horizontal rule to be that color. So I just simply come in, select that. And then I come over to the properties, paste in my hex code and voila, we have updated the color there as well. Fantastic. Now there's something even cooler that you can do. So this button has a this red color. One of the things we can also do is the shadow underneath it that you can see there, which you can just add a shadow to any element. If you just click on the effects, just hit the plus button. But for now, let's go ahead and shadow. It's like this. We can go ahead and match that to the same type of red that we have. It's a drop shadow. Now that we've styled this, we can actually make all of these buttons the same color, including the CTA down here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go, we're gonna highlight the, the button, and just to make sure that you got the right thing, you can always look at the layers panel over here. So I got the button, I'm gonna right click, and I'm gonna copy styles. I'm gonna come down here, click on this other button that I wanna paste the style onto, hover over styles, paste style, and just like that, you've been able to update the style. So we can apply this to all of them. And then even this one down here. So this, Copy and paste styles feature allows you to do work one time and apply to multiple components. All right, so this is starting to look really branded, but what about this? This is not the product I wanna sell. This is where we're gonna get into buy boxes and our, our dynamic data. Now, in one of the future videos, we will go into dynamic data in depth, but for the purpose of this video, we're going to keep it simple. First of all, we don't need this carousel, so we're just gonna delete that for now, just to make things simple. We're gonna click on this product detail section. So that's this entire section. We really wanna use this product container. And this product container is tied to your Shopify catalog and it's dynamically pulling the data from your catalog. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set this to be our product. So we're gonna go over to the properties panel under config, we're gonna hit select a product. It's showing the Replo crew neck, which is a placeholder product. We're gonna flip over to online store and we're gonna click Propello, which is our colo. And as you can see, all of this content is being dynamically updated. The price is changing. If you see these, this little stack icon, this is data that's being pulled in from the current product with the description from it. And so it's pulling in from there and you have the ability to buy now. If we click on this, we want to make sure that this button actually works. Once you click on this button, you want to come over to interactions and you can see on click. So when someone clicks this button, you are adding a product to cart, the selected variant, which in this case, there aren't any variants, selected quantity, which will add a quantity selector in just a second. And once someone does, it's redirecting to cart. I'm actually going to toggle that off. Uh, and I'm gonna turn on redirect to checkout because after someone clicks on this button, I want them to go straight to checkout. We're gonna hit save. As I just mentioned, we don't have a quantity selector. How do we add that? We come back to insert and we're going to product. You can see all the different elements. If we wanted to add another product price or the compare at price, again, as long as it's inside of the product box, it'll dynamically pull and we'll go into the much greater detail later. But for now, we just want a quantity selector. So we're gonna grab the quantity selector and I'm just gonna place it right above the add to cart button. Just like that, we've built a listicle that gives people three reasons why they should buy our cola. Before we publish the page, there's one thing to, to keep in mind. Buttons can do more than just add things to cart inside of Replo. For example, we can make this button scroll to the buy box. Here's how we're going to do that. What we're going to do is we're going to come and click on the button and we're going to click on this interaction quick add. And what we're going to do is we're going to click on click, choose interaction, and we're going to scroll to URL hash mark. Because we pulled in a product section, by default already has a product URL hash. Click that, hit save, and make sure that all of the buttons that you have here do the same. So we want to make sure we're going to delete any other interactions that they have. Scroll to URL hash mark, hit product, save, and then we'll hit publish. And just like that, we have built a page. So if we go view the live page with any of these buttons, snaps to the buy box. Let's try one of these, snaps to the buy box. Try one of these, snaps to the buy box. Let's add a bunch of stuff to the cart. I wanna add 10 items. I already had stuff in the cart. I think I had four items in my cart already. So let's see what happens. This should go to the checkout. Just like that, we've added 10 additional items to the cart, redirected to the checkout. Everything is functioning. This page is ready for traffic. You are good to go. So to recap, we've covered how to build a listicle, how you can use templates, whether it's a full page template or sections for individual components of a page to build 
both faster and easier. We've covered how to update images, update text, change fonts, and how to style things to match your brand. We've gone through some shortcuts on how to improve the speed with which you make the edits. And lastly, we are left with a page that we can actually drive traffic to. Thanks for watching Revlo 101 part three. In the next video, we're going to be covering everything you need to know about how Replo works with Shopify and how you can start using all the content that you build in Replo to improve your e-commerce marketing. We'll see you there.